What's up guys, Jeff here signing on again. It's the same ship but on a different route. This time we're going to East Coast United States. One voyage takes about 77 days. We start off in Southeast Asia from Hong Kong, Singapore, Vietnam, Sri Lanka, then cross the Indian Ocean towards the infamous Somalia. Look at me short. I'm the captain now. Entering Gulf of Aden then Red Sea, will transit through Suez Canal into Europe's Mediterranean Sea, journey through the Strait of Gibraltar, and finally across the Atlantic Ocean reaching the east coast of the United States, and then back again for a round trip. It is going to be a super long time at sea, which means I won't have internet for weeks at a time, but I'll try my best to upload whenever possible. So you'll probably see batches of 2-3 to three videos at a time. Be sure to check your notifications. Anyway, let's get on with main topic. Since I am unpacking, let's address the two most asked questions. A lot of viewers who are cadets wanted to know what to bring onto a ship for the first time. And others, they want to know what camera I use to film with. So I'll be going over what I bring to the ship. Let's start with the most important one, what I call essential documents and certificates. They are what everyone needs to work on an international voyage ship. I prepare them in a pouch for convenience and security reasons. And I highly recommend this to other seafarers as it makes the sign-on procedure much smoother so you don't have to scramble through your bags and find that one single document. What's inside is my passport, certificate of competency, seafarer book or seafarer's passport depending on your country, medical fitness certificate and vaccination book, solar certificates such as your security training, survival at sea, firefighting, first aid, and GMDSS. I keep this in my backpack along with my other important items, my laptop, charger, wallet and phone, a DSLR. I also hold my other important documents that aren't required for work, such as my Canadian passport, my other certificates. And now onto my camera gear. One crucial item that I carry with me is my compact camera. As you travel places, you want to have a camera ready to go to capture the moment, whether it be videos or photos. I use the Canon G7X Mark II for its versatile tilting screen, which lets me frame the shots easily. My other big toys I keep in my Pelican case. I use the Canon 70D for moving shots. It is most well known for its amazing autofocus. Canon calls it the dual pixel CMOS sensor. If you're looking to buy a DSLR for video, I would definitely recommend the new 80D or 70D. You know it's good when half the YouTube is using the same camera. My lens to pair are the 10 to 18 mm for wide angle shots and the 18 to 35 millimeter for awesome bouquet. Then I have two GoPros for harsh conditions like rain or snow. They're also very useful when you need the small form factor. Lastly, I use the Nikon D750 for still image and time lapses. Nothing beats the low light capabilities of full frame sensor. I use a fisheye lens for wide angle shots and a 75 to 300 millimeter for all other purposes. Miscellaneous accessories which include magnetic tripod, microphone, LED light panel, shutter remote, and a gimbal stabilizer. For cadets out there, here are some things I recommend getting. Toothbrush, toothpaste, other necessity like soap, laundry detergent, toilet rolls. You don't have to worry about it because the ship will supply it to you. SIM cards for a country that you'll be going and a container to keep them organized in. External hard drive for movies and television series and electrical board. Chances are your cabin won't have enough sockets for your phone, laptop, gadgets. So one of these is going to save you a lot of hassle. You must 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 make sure it's a good brand with surge protectors for safety reasons. For those who will be taking the navigation watch in darkness, a simple dim light will come in handy. And that's about it. Other items such as clothing, socks, underwear, it's really your personal preference. Just 
just keep in mind that sometimes you might have to sign on by flight, so adjust accordingly. You don't want to be overweight. Uh, so signing out. In a few days, I'll be crossing the Suez Canal, so I'll try and film something. It's my first time going, so I'm not sure how it is. Um, if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do a rapid fire question and answers uh, maybe next vlog. So I'll see you guys next week or next few weeks.